Uh, Ken, Ken, you're on Fez. Go ahead, Ken. Hey, hey, guys. Um, yeah, I'm going to get back to. Um, I always thought Earl was gay ever since he went to the wedding with, and he had his date. Actually, had a date. Oh, the Eddie Trunk wedding. Yeah, the Eddie Trunk wedding. Eddie Trunk plus two. That affair <laughs> has always been called. Now, um, boy, the muse has got me ready to throw up. I don't know why she just moved this from one room to the other, but uh, Fez, you would not have been able to follow along with shaky cam. I think she's going to have a little snack. Got to get uh, a dolly. Yeah. You uh, went to a wedding, uh, or I'll put down plus two and took another couple with you. No, because I, again, I I tried to explain this a million times. There was something you love men and women. I don't uh, love men and women. I love women. I want to make that very clear. But here's the thing, Earl. We still accept you. I, I thank you for accepting me. But we I'm accept not you as a man who's comfortable with couples. He that's called polyamorphous. Is what? it really? Yes, I just learned this. On, well, um, why is Pirate. it called bi- bi- uh, bisexual? No, well, it, it, it's someone who actually dates a couple. Like if Earl Earl was dating that couple and mm-hmm. decided to invite them both to Eddie Trunk's wedding, right. that there's a word for it. It's polyamorphous. I learned that in Tyra Banks. I thought it was polyamorous. How yeah, it's all- the same thing. <laughs> Why would you know this, Earl? <laughs> no, honest, no. You're correcting the syllable. <laughs> Why did you take offense? He goes to the a- meetings. <laughs> I didn't take offense. I, I actually, a long time ago, I knew someone who was polyamorous. Who? You. <laughs> it was not me. The man in the, the mirror. mirror. <laughs> <laughs> So what happened, Earl? Tell me about this friend of yours. No, it was, I was a show. She's like, yeah, I'm polyamorous. I'm like, what is, I had no idea what it meant. She was like, yeah, well, I'm, I'm like the third person in a, in a couple. It's like, and we're all, it's like, we'll have sex with each other. It's like, sometimes it's me and the wife. Sometimes it's me and the husband. And sometimes it's all three of us together. Mm-hmm. And it's not just sex. They date, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, it's they, like that. They, they live as, as if they were all men and wife. And, but. What is the strongest a geometric figure, the triangle. Nothing is stronger. Right. And and the the one thing about it is usually like say if it's like a guy, right, and he, he's polymorphous with two girls, mm-hmm. usually he has what we call or they call a primary, his number one girlfriend mm-hmm. and then so like they're the couple or and, wife. And then yeah. And then they'll date. But I, I've heard the term primary. So I'm suspecting that Earl wasn't even the primary. You this. weren't the primary for that, no. Earl? I was not in a polyamorous now, would, relationship. Would she sometimes give you and the husband a little alone time together? <laughs> so basically what happened with you and Eddie Trunk was you asked a girl to Eddie Trunk's wedding, and then she asked her boyfriend. Well, what happened was she... <laughs> I I said, hey, you want to go to the wedding? Because, right. you know, sh- we both were friends with Eddie. And I was like, well, I got an extra ticket. She wanted to go, but she wanted to You didn't to have an extra ticket. You had an invitation. No, I, well, that's what I mean. I'm, I was thinking. You were treating this everything like it's a radio gig. <laughs> it was, it was drunk All right, let's, uh, we got a break. You want to pick it up, Earl, when we come back? Yeah. So this is uh, our polymorphous friend, Earl Douglas. <laughs> and we'll come back and pick this up. It's Earl Plus to run a Fez show. Well, if they need an extra, uh, <laughs> Earl Douglas is known as Earl Plus Two. You tried to take a couple to Eddie Trunk's uh, wedding. It was just a foolish misunderstanding, a, a lot of stupidity on my part. Basically, what happened was I was invited to Eddie's wedding, and you know I was invited. You know, me and a guest. She was a friend of Eddie's, but she was not invited to the wedding. Well, that's not that good of a friend. Yeah, real close there, Earl. I mean, but I mean, she was a friend, but she wasn't like you know very very close. So I said, she's like, I really want to go to the wedding because you know it was Eddie. He's like, he had a metal. It was like a metal wedding and everything. And she was a metal chick and loved the music and everything. And I said, you know what? I have, the, I got invited. You want to come? She was like, said I would love to, but can I? And I was fully aware that she was seeing someone. Mm-hmm. So I said, it's like, yeah, if you want to come, sure. And she said, well, can I bring you know my boyfriend? And I went. I said, I don't know. I was like, I, well, I only got one invite, but like a dope. I said, you know what? I'll ask. So, <laughs> so I asked Eddie. All right, let I- me tell you something. When you have a wedding, they're very expensive. And you ask a guy like you, Earl, if you have someone, bring them. But don't go out and get someone that you're not with. That's very annoying. That's and you're against gonna have, the rules. You're going to have to think about this, too, uh, Dave. If yeah. You and your girlfriend decide to get married because it's like $100 a head. So, if I said, Fez, you know, come to the wedding, 
What I'm saying is, if you want to bring someone, bring someone. But I mean someone in your life. Don't just go ask somebody from work or somebody just so you walk through the door with somebody that's not going to give any money. You're wasting cash. The way Earl's telling the story is this girl only wanted to go in hopes of Tico Torres being there. No, she... It's true. No, I mean, and Eddie and his wife were going through the most expensive thing a young couple can do. No, and, you know, and again, that was my fault. I mean, I yes. kind of... I completely misread, misunderstood, mis misplayed the whole situation. The way it came out was that I invited a couple to this wedding. You did. You which, did invite a couple to the wedding. You put down, you didn't ask or check. You wrote back to Eddie Trunk. No, I. What, Earl Douglas plus two. No. I know because I'm the one who got the phone call from Eddie going, Ronnie, what the hell is this? <laughs> How am I supposed to do this? No, I remember. I remember and you know what I said to him? Eddie, not one of them should come to the wedding. <laughs> No, I, would end, I ended up calling Eddie about it. After everyone else brought it up. No, not after everyone we brought, brought it up. We brought it up on the air. No, I, 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 no. No. I out at you on the air. And then Opie out at you on the air. And Anthony, it was the talk of the station. No, I, I, mean, I remember, I specifically remember before, you know, the whole thing came out. I was like, you know, and Eddie and I, we're, we're, we are, you know, we have a pretty good relationship. I called him on it. I asked You him. are a liar. I am the one who out at you on our show. And you're like, what did I do wrong? So now he's changing history, Fez. Why would I know Earl Douglas plus two? Because I got that from Eddie's wife. I mean, I specifically... <laughs> I mean, I'm, you, know. you put plus two. I'm going. On That's your what you put there. That's exactly how it happened. Eddie had to call the radio station. To put a stop to this, his wife wanted to end the wedding. <laughs> you don't understand. Her old man is paying for food. A couple that they're not even friends with, an extra couple. They, they, they were second cousins that do not get invited to weddings because they're not close enough. Earl, you did not take the time to think. And again, here's the problem. He calls it a ticket like it's a concert. And, and they, you know, Earl, and, he's going to try to show up with, a, with an envelope for 10 bucks for the three of them. <laughs> <laughs> he and, was treating it like any other radio station promotion. He was uh, going to take the van. I, Fez, people think of you as a single. But if you had a very close friend, you would feel uncomfortable to bring to, the, to a wedding, particularly a big wedding. But if not, would you go out of your way to find somebody or would you show up single? No, I would go single. Or if you're a single guy, why are you embarrassed to show up single? That's the people that I cannot understand. They're okay to live their life as a single, but, oh, something has come up. I need to have somebody there with me, even though it means nothing. You know, that's yeah. insane. And an Earl comes in with a couple on each arm. And he's all happy. <laughs> That's wacky, my friend. Not to mention... And you're still lying. And that yeah. makes you... Seriously, that makes you a bad producer that you either don't, A, remember the truth, or B, you're lying about it. I mean, I mean honestly... There you was did not call Eddie. I remember calling Eddie. That's all you called I remember. after you got out I... on the goddamn air, Earl. This is legendary. I'll go back and find tapes. I'll bet a million dollars that that envelope showed up Earl Douglas plus two, and then he made the phone call. I mean, granted, I will say this. I mean, this is something that, what was this, eight years ago, six years ago? Four, probably five. No, but, I mean, you know what? And I'll, 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 I'll backtrack and say, you know what? I might be wrong, but I, I thought I made a phone call. You made a phone Well, then how come they had on the thing Earl plus two without a phone call? How would that become the big funny bit I mean, that, that we all remember? That part, I, honestly, that part I do not remember, but you I remember have, making a phone call. You've put it out of your head now like it was a rape. You <laughs> are no longer remembering. There's tape of Eddie Trunk calling the show saying this. We all this. busted you. Anthony was on you. Opie was on you. And yet you're remembering is, you know what? I got caught in a very difficult situation, <laughs> so I made a call. Ridiculous. Ridiculous the way you lie. He's totally right? insane. I mean, you look David, you're on the Ron Fez show. Yeah, hey, listen, how you guys doing? Good. Listen, Earl is, uh, Earl's definitely gay. Mm hmm This is his chance. He actually asked a girl to go to the wedding, right? And she asked if she can bring a boyfriend. First, absolutely not. I mean, why, why would he say yes? So why would he not even be offended with that? Could you imagine if you asked a girl to something and she asked if she could bring a date? I, now, instead of Earl... 
feeling okay about showing up as a single, he shows up as a triplex. <laughs> I would punch <laughs> the girl in the stomach if she said... What if she was pregnant, though? Uh -oh. I'd, I'd elbow her then. then uh, maybe, not three. The, maybe not the fist. But, I mean, if she had the, the guts to say that to me, it's ridiculous. Oh, he drives me no, nuts. But the, no, the you drive me nuts. No, the part of the story, I mean, again, everyone makes assumes that I was asking her out on a date. I was fully aware. Why? Why would you want to take her to a wedding that's $100, $150 a plate? No one, the trunks did not invite this woman. What aware move would you make that you thought that that was okay before her boyfriend came into it? And what kind of horrible person is she that she'd want to take a couple <laughs> along with somebody else, yeah. basically to say, uh, Earl, uh, that Fez put up with, that she wants to see a member of KISS? Earl is totally trying to change history because, you know, he says it wasn't, he wasn't trying to set up a date. Here's what happened. She said she wanted to bring her boyfriend because she wasn't comfortable going on a wedding date with Earl. Here's uh, Rick. Rick, you're on Run Fez. Hey, buddies. Hey, I'm a new listener. I just want to say you guys are a combination of Seinfeld and the Yacht Couple. I love the show. Thank you. Now, yeah, I, and I want to say, Earl, uh, I don't think it's I don't think it's your looks, and I don't think it's uh, your 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 money the, the money you make. I think it's like take a page out of Eastside Day's book. And I'm not a, I'm not a Dave fan. Now I'm not a hater either. But I think Dave has personality. Look at the girl he picked up. I think if you went out with him, took him up on one of those nights out on the town drinking, it'll bring out your personality and maybe you get lucky. Come on, black girl, I'm on your corner. Uh, that's a very good point, Earl. How many times has Dave uh, asked you to go out? Now he's with the beautiful Casey, and you're still Earl Douglas plus two. And this was your <laughs> opportunity to be your dream, Earl plus one. No, but, well, the answer to the first part of that question, I never go out with Dave because my my experiences with hanging out with Dave once that's all I needed because it was bad because I practically had to carry you back to the radio once. station. Well, but now look who he's with. No, and I a beautiful chick who's friends with what? Beautiful chicks. Mm -hmm. You know why? Beautiful chicks are like grapes; they come in bunches. <laughs> and Casey's gorgeous. What are all her friends? Gorgeous, right? You could be what, Earl? The guy hanging around with the new boyfriend, which is always gets all the other girls all excited because his love is in the air, and then that could be you. And you could be in the Gorgeous Club. We call it GC. I didn't even know that. Yeah, we do. Since we just, when? Uh, a couple days ago. <laughs> Mr. B, another thing that shows you how socially inept Earl is, mm -hmm. is that he's saying, uh, this wasn't a date. If you ask a girl... To a wedding. Right. I, forget about the plus that's two. The, that's an adult version of a prom. Boom. That's an adult that's version a of a prom. Earl. But, and, Earl, for some reason, and I'm going to throw some old school here, you're afraid to show up stag. Why not? <laughs> Why not walk in there and go, I'm Earl. I what? live alone. I roam alone. <laughs> I'm a loner. What's wrong with that? Eddie knows you. Oh, no, and, and I... Was everyone going to act like it, it was like, oh, my God, this is, look at this. Uh, Earl has no date. No, and I've done... <laughs> I have done the wedding stag before, and mm. the exact opposite... I got the exact opposite reaction. Why are you showing up by yourself? And I'm like, well, I'm... Who I'm, said that to you? I went to a wedding for a friend of mine. Her husband... No, her friend, her now husband got me but my we apartment. Ask you, we ask you why you're doing everything alone. You're used to that answer. Yes, I mean, I just prefer to be alone. Or with honestly. a couple. <laughs> with a couple, but... He's a, he's the man of extremes. All right, uh, Fezzi, we got a, uh, a party we're going to on Saturday night that's a lot of fun. It's going to be at F.H. Riley's Huntington Village, Long Island. Art of the Topless is going to be playing there. So that's all going on this Saturday night at F.H. Riley's. A lot of fun. o and I believe, are showing up. A lot of people are going to jump up on stage and sing. It's going to be cool. Patrick is on with us right now. He is actually Dawn's real boyfriend. What? How are you, Patrick? I'm good. How are you, Ryan? Is Dawn going to be singing that night? Yes, she is. Wow, she's that's also exciting. going to. Yeah, she, she's going to be playing bass for the first time in public. Wow, she's never done that before. She's never done that before. All right, uh, tell me the truth. Are you plugging it in? Are you doing the right thing? Huh? Are you going to plug the bass in or just cover for her, Linda McCartney yeah, style? It, it will be plugged in. It will all be right. Plugged in. The keyboard player will be sitting out, so all the bass you hear is her, and uh, it'll be cool. Uh, what are you going to do? Smoke on the water? Where are you, you going to take this? Uh, 
Well, it, it is going to be classic rock. We'll just uh, we'll let you guys hear it when uh, when she gets. Boy, back. it's all so secretive, isn't it? <laughs> the whole it's thing. All so secretive. <laughs> well, uh, you know, it, it, it's like you don't uh, give everything up, do you? No, so, not at all. Slowly, the special guest stars are being revealed for uh, Saturday <laughs> night at F H Riley's. By the way, Earl wants to bring a couple with him because there's going to be dancing. <laughs> he can go right ahead. That they're welcome here. It's 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 not a wedding, right? Okay. <laughs> All right, Patrick. We'll see you out there, buddy. All right, and and thanks a lot for everything you've been doing for us. Uh, we love really you guys. All right. Well, thank you, S especially Don. All right, eight six six three one three free, eight six six three one three free. Make me a promise right here now, Fez. I know they want you to get up and sing your hit from the nineties. Do they? It makes me Fez. The problem is. You don't have the wind you used to have. You're not in the shape you were when that was your number one hit. I'm going to tell you the truth. You don't fit in the old leather pants like you used to. It looks uncomfortable. If I decide to do it, I've got two days to get my wind together for this. All right, I'm looking up here at Fox News. They're showing the, the South American guys who carry the crosses and pretend that they're Jesus. Have you ever seen this gimmick? No. They will actually crucify themselves. Some of them will put nails through their own hands. Wow, they're hardcore. Yeah. They love Jesus. Yeah, they really do. Savages. Yeah. Sa Jesus is a savage? Uh, maybe not Jesus himself. Maybe. Why are you saying maybe? <laughs> hey, by the way, good news. I was talking with your girlfriend, Dave, Casey. Yeah. Double date. Ooh. You and Casey. Yes. Uh, Earl Lucci. Oh. That's... What do you think, Earl? Um... La Lucci. She's up your alley. La 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 Lucci. She's like 37, just like you. She hey. could. Yeah, what are you. That's inappropriate to yell at women's ages. But I already got a song for you, too. Wild thing. Because she's a yeller, she's a screamer. What do you think, girl? Um, I'm going to have to humbly and respectfully decline. Why? She's got a ready made family. That, that would be perfect. <laughs> That's the You main have to, a couple kids you could look after. You could call them Lil Earl and. You're not Little taking Earl. that. Well, I, you're not going to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> you guys are all going out to a restaurant. Why are you declining? No, I mean, I. I mean, I I do not. Because do she doesn't have a mail package? <laughs> would that make you stay? No. Can she get one? Maybe. She is pretty wild. Hmm. No, this. I must. Re I must. She would. What are you declining for? The hetero angle of this? <laughs> no, it's not that at all. She would bring the best out of you, Earl. You need someone to get to have that. You break out of the Earl shell, and Lucci would be the one. Now, I mean, here we are. We got chicks for you, and you're turning them down. It's what? one too many people on this date for Earl. <laughs> why do you think you're too good for her? I didn't say that. I didn't say that at all. Well, what? Why are you declining? No, it's just she's not. For me, is that's this all. An anti How do you know? Is this an anti-Jersey thing? No, it is not an anti-Jersey thing. So it's anti-female? What it's makes you think she's not for you? I don't, it's just the vibe. The breast? That, <laughs> vibe <that I> what is it? What is it? Earl, what is, no, I mean, I can't really put my finger on it, but no. Uh, <laughs> so is that what you're afraid of, putting your finger on it? <laughs> no. You don't have to the first night. Earl, this is going to be food. Drinks, just some conversation, a chance for you to go out on the town. Everything you were trying to get at Trunk's wedding, <laughs> except for no guy talk. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Sports talk. Which is a good sports fan. You know Casey and I are. Yeah, it could we be great. Could talk baseball. Maybe you go back to uh, Dave's apartment. You oh. spin the bottle a little bit. Oh, that would you be know? fun. Make it a <laughs> fun if, night what, out. What if the bottle? What if my? Uh, Why would you want to be with her? She's very hot. No. Beautiful can. <laughs> no, just, I mean, nothing personal against her at all. It's, it's just that she's a woman. No, it's not that at all. It's yeah. not her, it's you. To a degree, yes. I'm, I'm a mess right now. I will be the first to admit that. What is it that she, that, about her that you don't like? What is she lacking? Would you say it's a D and a couple um, of Bs? <laughs> I mean, honestly, I mean... I, you got to have the couple of Bs if you're going to have... There's three things she doesn't have that he's looking for in a woman. A D and two Bs. <laughs> I only met her, like, at one time. What's that? So what? And, uh, no, but, you should no, be at the point right now. It would be a blind date. No, and I refuse to do that again, ever. I, what I, are you worried about? That maybe she'll want to what? <laughs> is that it? Kissing? I have no problem kissing at all. I, I mean, is it that she's white? Her. 
No, it's not that at all. She's a white girl. <laughs> Tell Lucci that Earl's too good for her. I didn't okay. say, say that. What, what did, other reason could there be? I did not say no. that. Well, then you have to give a reason. So it's like, or else uh, we know that's what it is. She claims to be part Jamaican, even though she looks very Caucasian. <laughs> what Jamaican, Jamaican is she, plantation owner? <laughs> I, I would consider that English. <laughs> All right, now... She she claims that she's one eighth black. Yeah, that's such a lie. That's what she is. She's she's one eighth Jamaican. All right, wait, hold on. <laughs> so your grandparents, uh, you you're one you're one half of your parents, one quarter of your grandparents, right? So it would be great grandmother. She's cl- claiming was Jamaican. Right. That's exactly it. Yeah. And or all you go to Jamaica Queens. <laughs> this could be that's probably what she's talking about. Her great grandmother lived in Queens. Yeah, more in common than you realize. Earl, give me one reason you won't go out with this girl. Well, you, well tell me the truth. No, I'm I'm being truthful. I'm like uh, I, I'm just not. There's there's no spark there. There's nothing there. You, how do you know? Did you have you talked to her yet? I mean, I talked to her very briefly at. What about this? I'm gonna throw in a little extra money. Buy her a strap on. And then that way, Earl, look at me. It could all be for you. That's your night. I do. Wow, the pot sweetens. I yeah. Do. I have no attraction whatsoever to a strap on. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> that didn't come out right. I do not want a You're a freak, man. You are. You are a sick Why bring that, up? that was the first thing you thought of. Never mind the woman. No, I want nothing. <laughs> no, I do not. Never mind. You know, he uh, just is... has the darkest closet. Yeah, he does. Anyone. Deep. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's deep. And that's saying that with Fez in the room. <laughs> that's saying that sitting right across from Fez Watley and saying you're the odd duck on the show. You're the weirdo. What is it, Earl? No, I mean, honestly, I'm just there. I just have no... And again, it's nothing... Are you dating anyone now? No, I'm not. How long has it been since you've had a date? Uh, August. Why not go out with a beautiful girl, one eighth uh, Jamaican, who all you're doing is going out as friends? Yeah, you know, but the whole—I mean, I don't know. I'm just—I'm not ready. I'm so not oh ready for God. it. Oh my God! For what? I haven't been going out since August. It's almost a year. No, I haven't dated. I mean, like I haven't like. You dated, sound like dated. a rape victim. What could possibly <laughs> happen that night that you wouldn't be ready for? He wants, what could come up? He wants to date Dexter. <laughs> What could possibly happen? <laughs> no, I'm not, again, I'm just not ready. And that's just me. I don't what know are you what ready is. for? You're 37. Old man no, I'm, First of all, I'm 36. What? And at thirty seven at thirty seven I'm I am he's a like El Duque. I know. He seems to, he's been thirty six since two thousand one. <laughs> he's more like Satchel Page. <laughs> <laughs> right back, Ron and Fez show. Yeah, buddy, it's the Run of Fez show. 866-313-free. 866-313-free. Trying to get uh, Earl Douglas a uh, date tonight. You turned it down, Earl. Yeah, I must uh, humbly and respectfully decline the date with uh, Lucci. Why? Based on what? Um, I, I don't know. I'm just I'm not ready for it. I'm just totally not ready for it. I don't know what you mean by not ready for it. You're not out of your training bra? How can you not be ready <laughs> You're a man, right? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a man, a she's heterosexual a beautiful, man. She's a beautiful woman. I don't understand what the problem is. Here's uh, Rob. Rob, you're on Run and Fez. Hey, guys. How you doing? None of your business, Rob. A great show, regardless. Yeah, it really I is. Got, I got a theory on, uh, on Earl. I think it's uh, quite possible he might be asexual. Very interesting. And on this show, that's somewhat catchy. So, Earl? What do you guys think? Uh, I do think, uh, I mean, if he's... Not interested in a beautiful girl. He's not dating anyone now. You swear you're not gay, right, Earl? That's asexual. That's asexual. No, I don't consider myself asexual. I'm certainly not homosexual. I'm, I'm a, I consider myself a heterosexual. And yet don't you don't date. I don't think you're gay. I think you're asexual, Earl. It would explain his photography. Mm, Just very trees. interesting. 
Yes. A building. That non-sexual. Is very they asexual. are very non-sexual. That's very true. Yeah, black and white. Mm-hmm. There's just there's nothing well, there's, vivid. There's no color. It. There's no passion nope. exactly. to his work. Exactly. Well, I consider it very artistic. I mean, black and white is definitely artistic. I, in my Not opinion, yours. In my opinion. Yours is boring. <laughs> it's like someone's grandmother who's decided no longer to have sex and starts taking photos. Um <laughs> By the way, uh, I see everybody on, but what happened to the muse? Why know. is the muse off? I'm really a little bit nervous, to be yeah. honest with you. I, I hope she's okay. Yeah. I mean, please call in, Something write, to... email, just make sure. All right, you don't want to go out with Lucci, though. No, I don't. Now, uh, Fez, you said you were too drunk to remember her the other night. Totally. Um, I saw her there. Very passionate woman. Very exciting. Yeller, screamer, if you will. Again, Earl. She's like you. You have a lot in common. Neither one of you drink. You go out with Dave and his chick. They drink like fish. <laughs> they drink like problem drinkers. Right. Why wouldn't you want to go out and do this? Um, you know, like the double date, I would be extremely uncomfortable with. I mean, and Dave is always like the whole, no, we should go out. Dave, when you go out with Kate, you cannot get away from us fast enough. So that's a good thing. What do you want him to do? Stay with you? You want him to rub your back while you two are doing it? That's ridiculous. <laughs> no, but he's always like, hey, you get, hey, come out and hang out. It's like, you, you've never <laughs> said that. You've Don't never... leave, Dave. Uh, Sam, you're on Ron Fez. Yeah, hi, Ron. Yeah. Yeah, I love the show. Uh, Fez, I love you, buddy. Thank you. Uh, I, I, I was just listening, and I need to let you guys know, Earl is scared stiff. He's scared. Uh, well, of... not stiff. Anything, but I say he's scared limp. <laughs> <laughs> good point, good yeah. point. But he's uh, he's typical of a guy who's real insecure of going out and getting rejected by a pretty girl because that's the self fulfilling prophecy that he's building. And yeah. uh, it's just a shame. You shouldn't be scared. Though. Go go for it. I know. Fear has absolutely nothing to do with it. It's just like I just don't want to do it. I mean, you have a yes or no option with anything, and I'm deciding no. I don't see that. that you haven't come up fear. with a reason no yet. Why? You don't think Lucci's attractive then? She's a, she's a very nice girl. She's an attractive girl. Then what? She's what just is not deal? for me. That I mean, and that's just the way it is. I mean, it, she's not a male. <laughs> I, if I she could use a, if she could stand up and use a urinal, would she be for you? No, and I'm not attracted. See if to she's men. willing to try. Mm. I'm not attracted to men at and, all. You know what? If it's shirt skins, you can be shirts. How's that sound? <laughs> you can keep your shirt on. All right, we're gonna grab Lucci. She's on the phone with us now. Earl, this is your opportunity. Go out with a hot chick. And on a double date with, you know, the king and the queen of the prom right now. Right. Everybody's new hot couple. <laughs> Nothing can be more fun than that. <laughs> you say that and under his breath, he goes, that's right. It's Brendan Eddy. <laughs> You're going out with Brendan Eddy. Who doesn't want to be with them? Yeah. By the way, check on the muse, just to make sure okay. somebody hasn't snatched her. Who turned off the muse? It's very, uh, it's thrown off the whole show. Find we out. We don't even know what to do. Uh, we got Lucci ready to come on here. Uh, Lucci, how are you, darling? I'm wonderful, except for the fact that my heart is broken. Yeah, I understand. Ooh. Um, Earl, you're killing me. <laughs> you're killing me. Earl, why won't you go out with her and make her night work? <laughs> I don't know how how much I've how how bruised your ego. Would what be is about. not to love about you, Earl? You're lovable. Now, first of all, I got to call Earl out on something. He Go said ahead. that he talked to me for a little while, and mm. we just didn't click. Right. No, I didn't, he, I didn't no, say no. that at all. So we yes, talked very did. briefly. You so did. You lie with everything you said. So why are you already faking the funk? Is it that you're a BVDV or something? Like, come on. What are you? What is the problem, Earl? What does she have to do to get you to go out with her? I mean, this, I mean, I don't think there's anything she can do. I mean, why can't I just say, you know what? I don't want to go out with you. What is the problem with that? Just tell her that you're gay, and then we'll drop this. <laughs> I'm not gay. <laughs> tell her that you're asexual. No more questions. I am not asexual. I'm just Were you in a bad accident? No, I was not in a bad accident. It's water Listen, skiing? Earl, we can have a great time. Listen, I'll totally pull you out of your shell. You won't even know that there's anybody else there. All right. Now, Lucha, you say that you're one-eighth Jamaican? Indeed. Who is it in your family that's black? You called it. It's my great grandmother. Rape victim. What's that? Is she a rape victim? Yes. Indeed. Okay. All right. So there you have it, Earl. That's the beauty of this story. Exactly. Like? You know, I can be a second rape victim. Woo, Earl. That sounds like uh, <laughs> your kind of girl. <laughs> then again, you look. 
<laughs> no, I mean, again. I can't find her on there. David's driving me nuts. She said she lost her stream. Yeah, well, I believe. No, so why would she sell That happens to me in public bathrooms. All right. <laughs> why not? Why not, Fez? I, I think you're thinking of somebody else there, honey. All right. Earl wants to go out with you. He really does. He's just I shy. I need to hear him say it, though. Yeah. I need to hear him say it to me. Earl, you say it. No, I, I mean, just I, say, I love you, Lucci, and I want to go out with you. Yes, please. No, I mean, honestly, I, I don't want to go uh, out. What about this? <laughs> what if she promises no naughty stuff, just as friends? Just food. Just friends. Just as friends. Maybe a little dirty mm. dancing. You guys well, are 30 a little bit. You know, yeah. I'm good like that, but I won't attack you. You're not cheapy. It's all good. Yeah. Go out with her, Earl. Think of this as reparations. <laughs> so Lara is giving her to you as reparations. Exactly. 20 acres and a mule and a yeah. nice foot. Earl, please. This is like a black and white episode of 30 something. I am so yeah, I am so unused to a women being turned down for dates by single guys that aren't dating anyone. I'd rather be on a bad date than sit at home. No, I mean like no. But then I'm not asexual. I am not asexual. I want to make that perfectly clear. Are you non-sexual? I am not non-sexual. Hmm. Insexual. <laughs> Unsexual. Earl, where is this going? Because it's all become very awkward. <laughs> well, no, I mean with with, with Lucci, I'm like, it's like I'm sorry. I I just I don't feel that all way. Right, for Lucci. Her. Yeah. This is the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen happen to a woman. I don't I want know. you to feel too bad. I'm going to give you an entourage prize pack. You are? Yeah, and then I also want her to sweeten it up too, Earl, with other stuff. Because I've never seen this happen before. It makes I'm no devastated. sense. Yeah. You should be. Earl, you don't have anyone to date. Go out with Lucci well, immediately. Why can't I make a choice, Dave? You haven't made a choice. <laughs> I made a choice. I don't want to go out with it. That's why you're not I made. dating anyone else. Yes, we, and that's the decision I've made. No that's one is. That's the decision isn't. I decided to do. I, I don't want to see anyone right, right now. Then, I want to go out with Let's do this. Anyone. Why? I want you to wear a priest collar. <laughs> you got one thing or the other. Why don't you want to see anyone right now? What Something happened? to liven up that wardrobe. Something happened. Yeah, what happened to you? What happened? No, I just like like last year I was in a relationship. The relationship ended, and I wanted I wanted some space. I That's wanted a lie. Time you off. weren't. We knew you last year. You weren't. Yes, in a relationship. I, I mean I just didn't tell any. I didn't tell any of you we, guys. We were out with you all the time. <laughs> I, I understand we do all that. All kinds of things. You don't bring her to the Christmas <laughs> no. party. You weren't. This is a pretend. <laughs> no, this fantasy is not. This is not doesn't it. exist. Relationship. This is, a, this is not. Earl, a relationship. It was your pillow. Earl. Every one of us would get late night calls from you at the studio. And That's we saw, true. And we would see you in the studio on the weekends. There is no way you could have had a relationship. I, 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 I swear to God. I don't want you to take this personal, but the problem is that you're real. <laughs> and that is not a relationship Earl can be with an actual human being. And Earl has a history of inventing people. And Remember, a hysterectomy. He invented a conversation with Al Dukes no, wait, a few you, months ago. Right. Even though Al had left dead? the building. And he imagined uh, his own history with the Andy <laughs> Trump story, which you got caught in lie no, after I, lie. I mean, I, I I swear to God, I will swear on a stack of Bibles. I mean, this is the God's Imaginary honest Bibles? Truth. This is the God's <laughs> honest truth. Yeah. That I, I, this was, this was uh, last year. Was, in your mind, it was a relationship. No one else's mind. It was. Do me a favor. Was, Prove yourself. Do it with Lucci for the team. I want you to do it for the team. Come on. And I want you to break her. Seriously. I want you to break her. I don't think he can. Yeah. It's not like we're going to get married or something, Earl. Come on. One date. One hot, sick, wild, <laughs> over the top date, Earl. It's and let's see what happens to you. All right. Sorry, Luigi. We're going to give you a price back, though. Love you. Hold All on. Right, you get that Entourage gift pack that includes Entourage Season 3, Part 1 on DVD, plus plenty of other Entourage stuff. And Entourage, all new episodes starting this Sunday. It's back this Sunday, April 8th at 10 o'clock, only on HBO. You know what guy you'd be on uh, Entourage, Earl? The asexual one. <laughs> uh, Vernon, you're in my face. <laughs> Vernon. Well, we lost you. Uh, sub, sub, you're in my face. Buddies. Yeah, buddy. If, uh, if uh, Lucci was Albanian, would that make a difference? Is this... You know what? 
Is this what this is about? Is no. it about Lily? No. You uh, said you weren't ready to date again. No. Yet you told us on the air that you loved Lily. <laughs> Lily, come on in here and look what you've done. Look how you've ruined Earl. And not only that, but Lucci's chance at happiness. You better sweeten the pot for her. I want her to get a disgusting amount of prizes, Earl. Hi, Lily. Lily, you know this is about you, right? It is. By the way, this thing that you're wearing, this headband thing today, what's that called? Bandana. It really works for you. Oh, I was going to call it a do rag. I, I got to be careful <laughs> with it. But that is a good look for you. It brings out the gypsy in you, the Albanian. <laughs> you seriously look like you should have a chicken under each arm and just running as fast as you can. All right, I've got another person who, uh, by the way, Earl, is offering you a one night only, no strings attached date, Solera. <gasps> the dream girl. Oh my gosh. Everybody's dream. What? Wow. What do you say, Earl? <laughs> Holy Christ. Uh, ooh. What a, already, what an insult to Lucci, right? <laughs> yeah. The fact that a guy who's dating one of our best friends, you're willing to go with. No, I mean, like... It, you That's know, the dream. That's everybody's dream. That's on the table right now, big man. That is on the table. Um, it's like deal that, or donut. De no deal. What is that? It's like deal, deal or, or, donut. <laughs> or donuts. No, you know what it is? That is, if we were all whalers, that would be our Moby Dick. That's the one that everybody's looking for. No, but I'm going to have to say no. I respect oh, Alfie oh, too much. You no, are I, gay. I respect you are Alfie gay. too I'm much. I'm sick of it. I respect <laughs> Alfie no, too much. Alfie's on. my friend. I, I can never come do that to him. Come on. Ever. The guy is, come on. <laughs> no, he, he's he my He won't friend. know, Earl. He's, he's Earl. practically unconscious. I love Alfie. <laughs> But that is something that I would do in front of Alki and the children. Yes, that's wow. awesome. That's the other and their part. Pets. No one gets and free. The kids, to... And the kids that live in the cellar, <laughs> the borders, and their kid. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, what a mess that is over there, huh? What a mess. Earl, seriously, man, you have got to get your priorities no, in check. No, my priorities you know are you, in check. That's why I'm saying no. Get you out. know what you you remind me of is like a bulimic person who everyone is trying to feed, <laughs> and they can't understand why you would stop suffering if you would just chew the food and swallow. Earl's on a sex hunger strike. Is that it, Earl? No. All right, she's outside. Is it Lily? No, not at all. At all. Zero. Look at me, Earl. Is it Lily? Zero. I'm looking right in the eyeballs. If it's, it's something, though, right? It's something we don't understand. If Lily was the date, would you say yes? No. With a strap-on? <laughs> <laughs> the Albanian strap -on. He's never been attracted to strap-ons, thus we remember. <laughs> one, one in you the got room. problems, man. <laughs> you got That's what I'm trying problems. to explain to you. I do have problems. And Fez is the one going to the nut hut, and you're not. <laughs> Need a two hey, for one deal. Frank, you're in Fez. Hey, dude, listen, I figured it out. Not asexual. You're not homosexual. Dude, the whole wrong species, man. Know who you should go out with? That chick from uh, Planet of the Apes. That woman one. Maybe Lassie would be somebody for you. <laughs> I got news for you. Um, if I turned down Solera, I'd get home and my wife would punch me right in the face. <laughs> That doesn't even make sense, Earl. <laughs> so you are beyond crazy. This is wild. So Lara's never been offered up before. Mm. I mean, she's and very vulnerable right now, insane. Earl. You, you're just making a huge mistake. Alki's got months, in my opinion. <laughs> Alki says he'd take one for the team. He would do this <laughs> just to get him back in. That's a nice guy. Alki's a giver. Yeah, that's a good guy. See? He is good. He knows what it's like to have a heart, Earl. Uh, John, you're on a fez. Go ahead, John. Well, we lost you, buddy. Uh, here's uh, AJ. AJ, you're on a fez. Hey, yo, what up, buddies, man? Hey, I just saw the brother, man, Earl. And, and I don't even want you to tell me, oh, uh, just because I don't drink or smoke weed, I ain't a brother. Ain't about that, my dude. You know what? You lack in personality, man. I feel as Ron is more of a brother than you. So you I, I really am. I really absolutely uh -huh. 
am ten times blacker than Earl is. Yeah. <laughs> Everything about me, Earl, is blacker than you. And that's the strange thing about it. That's the weird scientific test that is going wrong here with our lives. <laughs> yeah. Boy, some people just walk into the studio and destroy things, don't they? Yeah, they just... They yeah. just walk in... Bull in a china shop. What do you say, my brother? You look great. Uh, hanging out with you till uh, 9 o'clock tonight. It is the Ron and Fez show. What a strange thing that just happened to us tonight. Black girl turned down Lucci. Believe it or not, turned down Solera. Only one name left up there, Earl. My caca. Is that the one that you're interested in? Is that who you want? No, I do not want Mike at all. Not at all. Again, throwing the strap on. <laughs> when Mighty Horse rocks, he rocks a fat ass. Build when Mighty up, Horse bro. rocks, he rocks a fat ass. When Monkey House rocks, he rocks a fat ass. When Monkey House rocks, he rocks a fat ass. Here is uh, Renfield, your man fast. How are you, pal? What do you say, Renfield? Oh, hi, it's me. Yeah, yes. I was thinking maybe Earl's like Kevin Klein in In and Out. He only thinks he's straight. Can't admit that he's gay. Maybe he needs a guy to kiss to see if there's a tingle, or maybe his knee might bend. There is something going on with you, Earl, about that. And I want you to understand something. We accept you, all right? No matter what you decide. But you don't not date people, turn down two women like this, and are saying no. It just doesn't happen. I mean, it. It, it does happen. I mean, I'm just saying no. It doesn't that's happen with heterosexual men. <laughs> yes, it does happen with heterosexual men. I'm just saying, I'm you know, I'm given a choice. I'm like, I'm saying no. No, no thanks. You know you don't have to marry them, right? Yeah, I perfectly understand. I totally understand that. But I'm just like, you know what? No thanks. It sounds strange. It is strange, but that's the choice I made. It's not strange if you're asexual. It's not strange if you're gay. And we accept both of those earls. Both of them. I'm neither one of those. I'm, I'm both of them. completely comfortable in my sexuality, and I'm completely comfortable being a heterosexual no, male. No, you're comfortable, <laughs> comfortable in your non-sexuality. There's nothing sexual about you, Earl. Here is uh, Nate. Nate, you're on the Ryan and Fez show. Had a chicken wing with some lemonade. 33, and I've never been laid. There it is. Hello. The Black Girl oh. song, which I hope gets done this weekend, Fez. It could be at F.H. Riley's. You don't know what's going to happen out there. Special guest stars stopping by. F.H. Riley's Huntington Village, Long Island. That's going on Saturday night with Art of the Topless playing. Art of the Topless playing a lot of the hits from the O&A show, the Ron and Fez show. Let's uh, go to the commercial break here, Earl, playing your theme song. I was born and raised in New York City. Yeah, but he's ready to wrap this one up. Nick Carter coming in next, Fez. He'll be here from 9 till midnight on 92.3 Free FM, and then it's Loveline after that. We're off tomorrow uh, for a good Friday. Well, I hope it's going to be a good Friday. <laughs> I really have you know high hopes for it. So far, it seems like it's going to be a great Friday. All right, Fez, you're a Lutheran. Are you allowed to eat meat on uh, Good Friday? Not supposed to eat the meat. Mm. No. I think for Catholics, I know we can't meet, eat meat, but I think meatballs is okay. I think as long as it's not solidly steak, I think it's fine. I think meatballs have meat in them, so that... And by the way, I don't count uh, chicken as a meat. I consider that poultry. Yeah. What are the Lutherans on this? Yeah, chicken is a meat. How is it a meat? It's a bird. It's chicken meat. It's animal meat. I disagree. I, it's poultry. It is sold mm -hmm. under the poultry section. Earl, you you guys don't have the uh, don't eat meat on Friday, right? Hey, we can eat every, whatever we want. We're Baptists. Mm, man, I wish I was black. Just <laughs> constantly doing whatever you want. <laughs> we Just eat like any, kings. Socially, anything. Yeah. Why don't you take Lucci over your house for uh, Good Friday with the family? <laughs> That'll go over well. Really? They would, your parents would be upset if you were with a white girl? No, uh, I think the exact opposite. I think they'd be very happy. They'd be going crazy. Yeah. Just saying you finally with a woman. <laughs> Just Anything. Streamers, party favors going off. <laughs> yes. No. My, no Your dad but, would have lost the bet. <laughs> no, but, <laughs> no, no, what happened, uh, was it not this past Sunday, Sunday before, my father, he was, he was jawing at my mother a little bit. The mm -hmm. last thing he says to me before he storms out, he gets, gets right into my face and goes, stay single, yeah, and you, just walks out the door. You dummy had nothing to worry about? <laughs> <laughs> he might as well told you to stay black, because there ain't no way you're changing. 
Uh, Ron and Fez show, 866-313-FREE, 866-313-FREE. Uh, Fez, you got any plans for tomorrow? Do you, do you ever do anything big for... You have to go show up at church there, or what do you do? Supposed to go to the Good Friday service. That's where. That's the one where there's no music during the service, mm -hmm. and they kind of uh, strip down the altar. They take all the remnants and everything off the altar. You leave a bare altar, and everyone just leaves quietly at the end. And as opposed to what? Applause? As opposed to going out with a big hymn or a oh, big okay, number or I something. See. Yeah. So, so Lutherans... Are that your religion is you worship Luther Vandross, which I guess is very close to yours. I know your parents are crazy about Luther Vandross, Earl. Yeah, they love Luther, but yeah. So you're almost a Baptist. We don't worship Luther Vandross. I thought you were Lutheran. I am Lutheran, but we worship God and Jesus and the Holy Spirit. Why are you Lutheran? Because Martin Luther started the church. That's another one that Earl's into in a big way. Uh, anniversary of death day was yesterday, right, Earl? Yeah, 39 years we lost uh, Martin Luther King. Sorry to hear about that, Fez. No, it has nothing to do with Martin Luther King Jr. Mm -hmm. This is just... Senior? Straight, his dad? No, just straight Martin Luther. Mm -hmm. The black guy. No, this was a white German guy. So basically you were into Hitler. In your own <laughs> way, Hitler. No, this was hundreds of years he before Hitler. He was just as anti-Semitic. I read the stories about him. Martin Luther, not perfect. Mm. That's for sure. Nick, Nick, you're on Ron and Fez. So why not worship him? Hey, Nick, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Hey, Ronnie. First yeah. of all, I just want to say you are this decade's Fonzie. Wow, that really uh, is stupid. But thank you. We love you on Long Island. Thank you. Well, that's all. It's the only place I've ever wanted to be. And, and we're going to be out uh, there uh, Saturday night, Fez. We're going to be at F.H. Riley's Huntington Village, Long Island, on Saturday night. Art of the Topless is playing there. I've met Lucci at the ONA events. I just want to say Earl is definitely on the away team. There's no way he shouldn't want to be with that woman. Lucci is one of the hot chicks. As a matter of fact, Pitsy was disgusted by this. Uh, Pitsy thinks that Lucci is uh, absolutely gorgeous and is furious with you, Earl. Just furious. I know she sounded heartbroken. Mm -hmm. Earl, come on, man. Just give it up. I don't know what what front you're putting up, but she's gorgeous. What, what are you, are you What for? are you saving it for, Earl? I'm not saving special any. girl, a special guy. <laughs> That's <laughs> his flower. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> ripped. I just want girl, special girl. So, what really are you waiting for, Mister Wright? Before you'll finally I'm be not happy, going out with a man. Thank you very much. He has no idea how many guys out there would kill for that opportunity, and it's right at his feet, and he's saying no. It's ridiculous. I'm getting worked up, Earl. It's a little higher than his feet. You got Pitsy Furious right now, Earl. I mean, what he should, why should he be concerned about it? You got your own shit. I, that has nothing to do with it. I'm just saying that you do not realize how lucky you are, and you're blowing it. Because everybody wants you to finally find happiness, Earl. We're on your side, Earl. No, and, and I appreciate that, but you know what? I want to make my own choice at the same time, too. Why don't you let me make your own choice for you? Make that your choice. But Let Earl, Ron decide. Earl, your choices really haven't panned out over the years, so maybe you need that some. That is true. No, and I understand that, and that i got to live with that. That's part of <laughs> making a choice. That's part of being... You There's know, something being, you're not telling us. Being an individual. Eric, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, guys. What's up? Good evening. What do you uh, say? I was, just, I was just wondering, uh, how come is it that if a girl, if the roles were reversed and the girl didn't want to go out... With uh, with Earl, you have to respect her, uh, her right to not want to be in a relationship and all this. But now that he's, you know, it's, it's all the way around. He's uh, considered uh, gay and all these other things. No, I don't think we ever called him gay. I think we called him asexual. Well, you know, along those lines, one of those things. All right, so he's saying double standard, Pitsy. How come it's okay for a girl to turn down? No one suspects anything. But when a guy turns down a beautiful woman like this, like Lucci... Everybody's suspect. Because normal guys do not turn down hot girls. That's just not the way it works. If you get any guy out there and a woman like her came up to you and said, let's go out on a date, unless they were married, they would never say no. And even if they were, they wouldn't care. They were going out with her. But here's what I don't understand. E even if it was a bad date, if you had a choice between a bad date and staying at home, why wouldn't you choose bad date? At least you're doing something. You're no, getting out there. No, and, and, and believe me, I've been on the bad dates before. And it, you'd rather be guys. Home. No, not with guys. Relatives? Not with relatives either. And if he goes out and the chicks see him with a chick like Lucci, they'd be like, oh, Earl can get a girl like that. And then maybe they would be interested in Earl. So it could always lead to something else. I think he's afraid of sheepy. 
Are He's you, a troublemaker. Uh, are you saving yourself for marriage? No. I mean, you know, that ship sailed a long time ago. As You'll never as saving, be married. As sail, as saving myself. I, I don't, right now, I don't see myself getting married. Old folks on by yourself? Um, you know what I got to do? I got to put some money away for a temp service for when Earl dies. I got to hire six guys <laughs> to come and carry him. Uh, Barry, you're on the Ron and Fez show. Whoops, let me try again. Hey, Barry, you're on Ron and Fez. Yeah, how's it going, buddy? Yeah, good. I got a pure hypothetical for you, and this is with all respect to Dave. Okay. And this is a test of Earl's heterosexuality. I'm just curious what he would say if it was him and Casey, if Casey offered him a date. I just want to know. This is all respect to him. Okay. So what we're saying, instead of Casey showing interest in Dave, she would have shown interest in Earl. That's correct. What would you have done, Earl? Um, probably would have, I probably would have turned her down. That's, I would have turned proof. him down. That's proof. Wow. What All right, Fezzi, what do you, how do you make that? Uh, what do you say about that one? I mean, that's, that's, I don't understand it at all, because Casey. Oh, I understand it. A woman can't please Earl. That's where we are now. Do you think it's the chicks that have affiliation with the shows? Like, is Earl afraid that they know too much about him, and, like, they don't want him to bring up all the dumb stuff he's done maybe over the years? Is that it, Earl? No, not at all. Again, it's, what's wrong with making... The, this is the choice I made at this particular stage of my life. Don't even think of Casey, Earl. <laughs> uh, that, that hypothetical is He over. brought it up to us. I, it doesn't even matter. Don't yeah. even think of her in your head, and how dare you reject her hypothetically. Yeah. <laughs> You're a crazy person, and you should be ashamed of yourself. And I want you to know this, even though it's about your girlfriend. Yeah. When they said Casey, he put his hands like out, like out. In you front did of that, him, like he was making breasts. Funny, huh? And then no. he stuck his like his thumb up to his mouth and took his tongue and had a uh, son of a gun. He was poking his cheek in and out. I didn't even know what he meant by it. Well, but now that I'm thinking about it, it's something bad. I Blood boiling. Dirty. Yeah. Blood boiling. How are you doing it, Earl? Show me how. Uh, yeah, see what he's doing with his Don't do right it. There. Oh yeah, and he's gonna you thumb up. Put that thumb back. Yeah, put it back. And he goes like this, Casey, and I'm like, "You are going down, big man." Wow, that's not right. it, what he was thinking. Here's what I want you to do, Earl. <laughs> I want you to close your eyes right now and tell us about your fantasy girl. Anything? I mean, this would be Earl's perfect girl. Let me guess. She's Albanian. She's tall and thin. Uh, Tell us the truth. Oh, I'm telling. I'm uh, uh, tall, very tall, very mm -hmm. tall, shapely. You know, not not too big, but not too thin either. And I don't like the rail thin, you know, the real rail thin. Am I the only one who thinks he's talking about David Justice already? <laughs> No, I mean like no. long ball hitter. No, no, I mean you're describing a guy so far. No, I mean like like if I had to describe someone like that would be like perfect girl like it would be like a Tyra Banks type like very hot Tyra yeah, Banks. Tyra Banks yes. supermodel. I'm just, no, I'm just what you said. Dream girl. That's my dream girl. I Have mean, you seen her lately? Not late. Not lately. I'm like with Sports Illustrated, you know, cover girl Tyra Banks. That would be my, my ultimate dream. So girl. if Sports Illustrated Tyra Banks wanted to go out with you, you would? Yeah. And all the I rest of these girls are hideous to you. <laughs> no. I would, I mean, Earl, I the standards may be a little too high. I mean, it's a, that's my ultimate fantasy. Well, not my, now, but still. I'm not saying that it'll happen, but I'm just saying that if that was my ultimate fantasy girl. It is my ultimate fantasy girl. Tim, Tim, you're on Run and Fez. Hey, Run and Fez buddies. Hey, I got a question for Dave here. Dave, uh, Earl just said on the New York radio that... Your girl is too good for him. What's that? You're, he's too good for your girl. He really you're a did. Son of a bitch. He True. basically did. I'm taking you down after the show. Is what then, I'm gonna do. Then he did this funny thing. I don't even know what it means. He yeah. put his thumb up like that. All, right. All little, right, that's not even book. funny. You're not even doing a thing now. You know what I'm thinking now? That might have meant a sexual act. I. Uh -huh. It better not. Yeah. If it meant any kind of body part type thing, there's gonna be hell to pay, and Jamaica Queens is gonna be littered with corpses. Well, just one. <laughs> well, yeah. Why I hurt anyone else? Well, maybe a couple, maybe his sisters, if they're out oh, there. Oh, that's oh. wrong. <laughs> I've seen his sisters. Sheila will kick your ass. Exactly. Uh, Dan, Dan, you're on a fez. Also, Earl's uh, perfect woman would have male private parts. It seems that way. No, no, and unequivocal, no. Equivocable, no. All right, um, 
Lucci is worried that you're now calling her Casey and Solera fat and short because <laughs> no. it does come off that way. No, not at all. I mean, again, with all due respect to... Tell them, Earl, you don't date hobbits. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Drew, Drew, you're you on her a hobbit, Earl. Drew, you're on the face. Buddy. Yeah, Bill. Yeah, so uh, I definitely think I know who Earl's ideal girl would be. It's, it's just written, it's just written all over the wall. It's going to be going to be fezzy with long hair and uh, and a hair lip, I think. All right. Think? Fe- no. Hey. <laughs> if I put a wig on Fez and you say that looks like Tyra Banks, I quit the show, Earl. I will quit the show. What do you look like Tony Banks? <laughs> nice. <laughs> um, let me go over here to uh, Vernon. Vernon, you're on the run of Fez show. Hey, how y'all doing, fellas? Hey, pal. Yo, uh, what's up, man? I'm not even trying to link up with you at the African Street Fest no more. <laughs> first, you know, first of all, first of all, you know what? I'm gonna be serious though. I wonder if, if um, Earl has any physical insecurities. You know, maybe when he takes his pants off or something like that. And Earl, take thing- your pants off and see if you can relax and feel close. Just take your pants off and walk around so we can make sure you're okay. Oh, I'm Jack, I'm dropping my pants. You don't have to pull anything out. Let's just see you walking around in your underwear. <laughs> Do it. Every everyone does it from time yeah. to time. Yo, Ron. No, you do. I don't. Yo, Ron. Ron. Yes, sir. Yo, check it out. Also, on a serious note, I, maybe he may be trying to protect someone else. Maybe there's something up with him that he may be trying to protect another person from, from that. I don't know. I Wait. think you may be right. I think Earl's dating a listener that we maybe don't know about. No, I'm not, I am not dating anyone right now. That's the God's honest truth. He's, he's dating Bobo. <laughs> Not dating Bobo. Are you with Bobo? Just no. let me know. I won't be mad. <laughs> Jeff, Bobo's Jeff, there. you're running Fez. Yeah, hey, I I think maybe Earl's uh, hermaphrodite. You know, maybe it's <laughs> not that he's not liking uh, the girls or the guys, but he's got some stuff that he he's self satisfied. Earl, if you're a hermaphrodite, I want you to know something. I will accept you. I'm not a hermaphrodite. And so will every member of this team. All right, they're going to tease a little bit, but then it'll stop and they'll, they'll forget about it. You just put up with a little bit of razzing like Jackie Robinson when he started. But you could be the first hermaphrodite in radio. It's not such a bad thing. I own some movies of Earl's people. I bet you hermaphrodite people. I bet that's the only movie. Well, well I didn't buy them voluntarily. Oh, yeah. Mighty hermaphrodite. You were forced to buy them? <laughs> no, they were given to me. You Why? What? I, <laughs> what sick person would hand them out? Um, Photoshop Mike. <laughs> Photoshop Mike. Sorry this to rat you. Sick. This is how far you've lowered yourself. Sorry to rat you. <laughs> this, ah. this is how low you've fallen in life. That you and Photoshop Mike share urges. Your mom didn't raise you that way. No, she didn't. I am ashamed. Yeah, you should be. Thank God I'm not spending Easter Saturday with them. I couldn't even look them in the eye. All right, the muse. I um, can't even see the muse. Everything's totally thrown off. Um, here's uh, Michael Savage. You're on running hey, face. I think uh, uh, Jamie Lee Douglas, uh, his his perfect Tyra Banks would have scotch breath. Thank you very much. Jamie Lee Curtis. Yeah, well, he's Douglas. Oh. His last <laughs> name's Douglas. Uh, Michael, Michael, you're on running face. Yeah, the, the problem with all these girls is that um, they haven't had spent any time in Bellevue yet. Mm-hmm. So you- now, Casey said the the person that he uh, talked about, tall, built, uh, nice tan skin, basically Earl's talking about RuPaul, <laughs> who you worked with before, right? Yes, Earl? I worked with RuPaul. You better work. <laughs> Have you ever done this? Did you fantasize about Ru? No, not at all. I always just call him Paul. Always- what does that name even mean, RuPaul? I don't know what it's supposed to be. Are you Paul, I think. No, really? Are, are you, you pa- Paul? Are you Paul, like, are you a guy? I got oh, that wow. part of it. Yeah. Are you. But is that what it means, uh, Earl? I have no idea, but every time I met him, he was always dressed as a guy. He was never in the full Lou Paul getup. So disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> Were you so disappointed? Uh, Todd, you're on Ronnie Fez. Hey, Ronnie. There's a silly name. Okay, really? It's all right. Monkey House. Monkey House, how are you? Good. Uh, this is really easy. Earl hates deep down the Ron and Fez show, and he That's doesn't true. want to have anything to do with Don you. Hate us and outside. our listeners. I do not hate the Ron and Fez show at all. I love you guys. You, you know want what? RuPaul? <laughs> <laughs> all right, they all have Fez wants RuPaul up over and over. <laughs> they can take that down. 
Uh, Radio Shark. Hey, get off Earl's back. Leave him alone. Don't you know who you're messing with? You're messing with Mr. Perfect. Isn't he 7-0? and If he changes, he's going to ruin his mojo. So what if for the past 17 years he wants to dress as an umpire? Get off his back. He's a money machine. <laughs> dresses as, as an umpire. Money machine? Baseball season's coming up. So what if he doesn't want a date? That's okay. <laughs> Boy, you really did so great with that one call, and there hasn't been anything since. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, but he had a great one. So much that he was actually cocky at the last party. <laughs> actually cocky. He came fashionably late, very fashionably late. Uh, Gary. Hey, what's up, guys? Good news. I got an entourage prize pack for you. Hold on, buddy. You'll get the entourage, uh, entourage gift pack. That includes Entourage Season 3 Part 1 on DVD, plus plenty of other great stuff. Entourage, all new episodes coming back this Sunday, 10 o'clock, right after The Sopranos, only on HBO. All for being one of the last callers. That's all <laughs> you really had to do. All you had to pull off. Well, Fezzi, I don't want to forget about him. It's the Daily Leader. Leader. Yeah, I think Earl just likes staring at himself in the mirror, Silence of the Lamb style. I do, me. Yep, that's it for us. We're going to get out of here. Fezzi, uh, three-day weekend. Get a little bit of rest for yourself. Sounds good. Earl, make sure you don't date. Dave, uh, your girlfriend's still here. She hasn't gone back to that's North Carolina. Right. Please uh, never go back, is what I'd like to say. Since we're talking about romance. Mm. Wow, you've changed. And also, I'm going to be slashing the front tires tonight. You are the anti-Earl. Classy. <laughs> You're a man that is obsessed with a woman. The anti-Earl. <laughs> Saturday night, we're going to be hanging out at F.H. Riley's, 400 New York Avenue, Huntington Village on Long Island. That's Saturday night with Art of the Topless as the house band. Our buddy, Art of the Topless. And I have a good word, Fez, that they will be doing the entire... Tales of Topographic Oceans by Yes. <laughs> All three sides. That's it for us. Take care, everybody. See you on Monday after the check. Uh, that's the end of my show. Donk. Yeah.